Do you see what's the uh, thing that happened in uh, Texas with that governor? Did you see that the mayor wrote that note? Te- Texas mayor tells residents, "Can you zoom in? There you go. Thank you." Uh, let me see. By Tuesday morning, the residents of Colorado City, Texas, were getting anxious. More than twenty-four hours had passed since a deadly Arctic blast knocked out power across the state. Residents turned to a community Facebook group to ask whether the small town planned to open warming shelters, while others wondered if firefighters could do their job without water. Colorado's mayor chimed in. Um, less than comforting message. He said, no one owes you or your family anything. Mayor Tim Boyd wrote, I'm sick and tired of people looking for a damn handout. What? Uh, that the lazy residents find their own ways of procuring water and electricity immediately drew backlash. Later on Tuesday, Boyd announced his resignation and admitted he could have used better words. How do you p- procure electricity? Like what? Right, okay. Uh, highlight how one of the worst winter storms in decades is testing the limits of the embrace of self-sufficiency and rugged individualism in Texas. So it's a good question, man. Like, I don't know. You know, I was thinking about this the other day. Um, Sean, will you grab me an extra water by chance here? Thanks, man. Um, how would you do survival? Well, I was thinking about this the other day. So I'm talking to my friend in, in Louisiana, and he said, oh, there's rolling blackouts, so s- some friends are coming over tonight because we have power tonight. Right. I said, okay, that's interesting. So it made me think, like, what if the power company, I'll take the death. So, thanks, brother. So what if the power company, like, like the power company is not a guarantee for us. Like, it's a, it's part of society that we've gotten to. We're lucky enough to have, yeah. like, this thing, this structure, you know. But, yeah, like, what if it went out, like. So I don't know where this mayor was coming from. I mean, that's probably certainly not the best way to word things if you're the leader. But. I mean, if it's people sitting in a home, they're freezing to death. Yeah. And it's, you know, at some point you have to start a fire for yourself or you have to go to somebody's house that like you have to also take action. True. But you don't want your leader to be like every man for himself. That's basically not the message. You know what I mean? But that's a great point. You know, your leader is supposed to be your leader. Let everybody else panic. But if you're panicking, it's it's over, you know, but it's one thing to tell people to get water because there's snow outside. So, you know. There's moisture. You can figure that out. Procure your own electricity. <laughs> Look, I mean, I wouldn't even if I would. First of all, I'm gonna have to Google procure. I don't know exactly what it means. I think I do. I think it's how you treat ham. But <laughs> go back, <laughs> yeah. get that back open. <laughs> yeah, you man. Go, go back to the yeah. Uh, at least ten deaths in Texas have been linked to the winter storm since Monday, according to the Houston Chronicle. So yeah, I mean, it's wild. I think, I think maybe this guy was probably just upset about other stuff. And probably attached it to this. Yeah. But if you were going to p- procure your own electricity, what would be your first move? I'd probably get a generator, gas powered generator. Ooh. Or I would start burning stuff. I mean, it's tough. That's but you one can't of the things. Burn it outside because the, the storm is obviously going to. Oh, that's a good point. But you can't burn it inside either. Because of the gas. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? So the heat, that's the thing that I, I don't know exactly how people were doing it unless you had. The generator. Right. So, yeah, I think that's a good point. So, I guess maybe they're thinking, yeah, find other people that have generators. I, it's also tough with this kind of article. You don't know if people's cell phones are still working. Yeah. You don't know if the roads are able that people can drive on. Um, I wish they knew or they would say what set this man off. But, yeah, if you're the leader, I think you probably got to find a better way to lead. Yeah, you can't you can't come out and be like, hey, you pussies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> procure some electricity i'm like what well, i don't even know what that means man i don't have any electricity to google procure yeah, yeah. so you're gonna have to break it down for me a little better yeah but if you're in your house yelling for help and but you also have legs at work it's like then that's on you also but i think one of the big issues we have in america today theo is that people have forgotten that two things can be true at the same time yeah Two things can be true at the same time. You know, whether you're talking about this pandemic, where two things can be true at the same time. Do masks cure everything? Nah, they don't. You can still get it if you have a mask. Yeah. But is it possible that they help? Yeah. Right? So there's two things. People right. are saying, you're, you're yelling at each other, and both of what you and I are saying are the same, are true. You know what I mean? It's possible for two things to be true. This also, y- should you wait to die? No. But- is it up to you to procure electricity? Yeah. Probably not. Not at first, yeah. Do you know sure. what I mean? Like, so I think yeah. it's, that's the thing, like, 
we've we've lost the ability to go yeah that can be true what i'm saying is also true but that can be true also yeah there's no there's no room for two sets of truths right which most things have yeah most things have two sides and most of the time both those sides have truth to them yeah that's why people are so it's so easy to to pick a side now right we're so tribal now it's not that there aren't we can't find facts there are too many facts available yeah so I can find a fact that'll back up whatever the fuck I want to tell you is true. I can find a fact online, an article online, a news site online that'll back me up. You know what that does? That makes me seem smart. That gives me a fucking hill to stand on so I never have to listen to you. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I just saw it online. And everybody in your echo chamber says the same thing, so it must be true. But both two things can be true at the same time. Which yeah, that's a good losing. point, man. Hope you enjoyed that video. And you can watch another and you can watch this one, you can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one.